need to step up our game. White people dress up. Halloween. I don't know if you've been out there. White people got face masks. The whole night, black people, we dress up in our work clothes. We don't even dress up good. We don't, we don't want to scare nobody. We, we're so stupid. We look at people dressing up like they're stupid. Look at them like the pandemic like idiot, idiot. Face out the pit top, stupid idiot. And it's Halloween. We gotta learn to let our hair down, people. Black people gotta learn to let our hair down. You know, we don't even carry karaoke. We don't karaoke. White people karaoke because they know it's just karaoke. It's not real. I was in a bar once and I heard a white man did Bob Marley. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do do. Do do. There's a natural mystic blowing through the wind. You know, he kept it. Black people, we want to sing, but uh, you know, no black person goes, sit down, sit down, don't bother, sit down. Stupidness, that, sit down. We gotta learn to let our hair down. I don't know what it is with us. It is the thing, this is what we notice. We've been here for years, but we don't know how to blend in. When you go to places like Walton Towers, you see the difference just in the way that we queue. Just in the way that we queue. White people will see a sign, the sign will say, two hours. So they wait. Two hours. Because the sign said that's what it is. It's two hours. Let's wait. So they stand there and enjoy the queue. Do do do. Booby do. Oh, do do do. Booby do. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is an hour and 45 minutes here, mate. That's two hours back there. I was standing there about 15 minutes ago, mate. Oh, wait a minute. Do do do. One hour 44. Black people, we're so rotted ignorant. We will see the same sign. We can read, you know. It says two hours, but we add something that's not on the sign. We said two hours, your blood clot. And then we, we do this walk, and then we step in, in the front. Then we're so ignorant, we do this thing like, say something, my dear, if I say something, say blood clot something, say blood clot something. But the thing is, we're not in our end. That's what white people are like, I'll fucking say something, you can't get to the back. Black people say, all right, we just, you know, all right. We never know your careers, we never know that. I want to see me dress like this. <laughs> Nobody take it for that, you see me? <laughs> Come in on a marmot man business, my body boy, no step on that, I'm teaching my none of that bum buck like that. I'm in mean, a flirt for butt up a boy in a frock, you know. Believe me, we keep going in blood clot with me. Oh, so what? It's a fucking hack. For the Jamaicans, hack. For everybody else, hack. Right? We just put on them clothes and make a little money every now and again. <laughs> Sammy! Oh, so what? Eh? Oh, Lord, thank you. <laughs> Did you film that, brother? Did you get that? <laughs> That's the only time I see you get out. <coughs> uh, actually, I want to film this one. Uh, personal stuff I want to film. Cool. Get that out of the way from right? Yeah. Just blank them out, stink about me and you on a beach somewhere, relaxing, romantic, chilling out, you know? You know? And make you play with my fruits and everything. <laughs> Banana and pears. <laughs> right? So don't listen to what I must say, right? Ah, right, cool. Come on, Kian and your girl. <laughs> Two, one, stop. <laughs> She's serious, isn't it? She's trying to be. Go on, push up fierce, African. Mm. Niger, Niger. Hey, boy, come out here with your gold teeth. Niger. Mm. You from Nigeria? What? Yeah, you're look twitching, at... look, you're twitching. Yeah, look, she, twitching. look, she smile. The, the lips twitching. Smile, I don't look, know if look. these lips or the lips down there are twitching. <laughs> but look, these ones twitching, it twitch. You see that? We may know. Are these lips, these lips dry? These ones you're wet. Oh. Are you married? Are you married? Shut up. You're not married? You want to get married? You have a man? You have a man. Yeah. Who is he here? here? Is he here? Oh, why is that? Because you're hearing the next man or the next woman. <laughs> there so you go, she smiled. She smiled. She freaking smile, man. Smile. The bitch lips went from ear to ear. She fucking kicking like a hyena. You know, look good. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a nice hair, you know, makeup all done, heels and everything. Under the club looking good and all that. And then I start broke out to them tune. 
I don't care you go home. For what? I don't want to know you. No. Imagine if me in the club now. Imagine me in the club and a song like this. Come on, DJ, and me start to do this. DJ. I'm a single lady. God. It don't work, no. No. It don't work. Talking about clubs, right? I know a lot of difference. I'm from Jamaica, if someone never get that by now by my accent. For those who don't know me, this is my real accent. Basically, um, we get carried away with the bleaching cream. <laughs> yeah, I never know when to stop, you know? I a cartel of family, you know. Serious. So, if anybody want the cake soap, yo, I want to turn up the mic, man. Yo, which guy at the back? Are you the only one stand up there? I was a wall there behind you. Are you shadow your attack? Blood clad. Yeah, I'm from Jamaica. And coming from Jamaica and coming to England, I notice a lot of differences. Especially with, like, women over here compared to women in Jamaica, or even Jamaican women and English women. Like when you go out and get ready, different, everything can do different. Like when English girls are getting ready to go out, them have a pre-drink. <laughs> Bacala rose. <laughs> get drunk before them go to the club. <laughs> so I mean, if them don't have no money, them all right. <laughs> yeah. And them enjoy themselves. Half of the time, and them are the last people to leave. Serious. But one thing what them do, what me don't like, the English girl them do, what me don't like, is you see your heels, yeah? If, if you can't really manage them, like, just put them on with your outfit, take the picture for your Instagram, and then put on your flats. Like, come on, man. Me don't like seeing you walk in a club, and you know? Did anyone see that? You know? You know, look good. And then the end of the night, what do you do? What them do? Tell me what them do. Take them off and walk on the dirty English floor. <laughs> and some of them go and they even wash them foot. The girl go wash your bum buckle of foot with bleach, you know. So that's me. Maybe you can come demonstrate. But in the Jamaican rails, you have different characters, like the guys, right? So you have the, the rude boy, them, the bad man, them, them call themselves bad man. <coughs> the man go in a club and stop in a dark corner, hoodie up. Place hat, you know. The man have one two hoodie. One, two. Like just buy a proper jacket, dog. You know? Winter. And him like night corner and them build them weed on him. <laughs> yeah, that's how the bad man them, so called. Then you have the, the next set of man them. Them man you know the dancer them. Them guy a dance whole night. Trying to come in at the club. Yo, what going, brother? Yeah, yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a Red Bull, car, energy, all night, non stop dance. Then you have the, the hype man, them. The, the, the man, them, we call them the dash money man, them, because I that alone, them do. Now, to me, I fuck with that. You have got a club, left your picnic in them bed, and you have a dash money on the floor. Hold on, there. you pick me up cereal and them thing there, and you have dash your money. And then wear the tightest jeans. Tightest blood clad jeans. Yo, if they ever put them under them pocket and walk and make a stop, them can't get it out. <laughs> Yo, dog. Help me now. Want that shit some money. Fucking idiot, them. Moving on to the women. The women, them now. So, you have this two shoe man, them. Bit like Claudia, or. And Bumbo can't know you're not laughing, huh? Yo, it's a look for me, so like... Kill that pussy, yeah. One more time for your host, Richard, because he's doing a great job, man. Yeah, yeah, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know what type of woman Richard likes, yeah? None of you old crofts, yeah? So I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Richard, look at Richard. You're looking good for that, Look at him, man. Look at Richard, look at him. Why have I got Jim so much, Richard? Uh, Richie, come here now. This is the problem with this. Let me just uh, see my figures. All the women, I can't deal with you. No, I can't. No, I tried, I tried, I tried, but it's not the same. Young girls are easy to please. Easy. Anybody under 30 years old, all you need to do is touch the fingers. Oh my God. 
Oh my God! Look at me! Oh my! Try that with the old woman. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. You think our, our clitoris is not sensitive anymore? <laughs> that shit's worn down. It's eroded. You know, like the top layer of a scratch card. It's gone. <laughs> Old woman, boy. That's, that, that's like my whole self esteem, you know. How <laughs> you feel? How you feel, baby? I've got to tell none of them, boy. Well, suck by the left titty, come on. Titty's way out here, you know. <laughs> I've got to catch a taxi to get to her mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, titty with stretch marks. I like that. Why are you not laughing, Claudette? Why are you not laughing? <laughs> I'm only joking, but she's not laughing. I won't even. But she ain't even laughing. I don't, and I'm being funny up here today, and it's like she just—I swear, I, I love you, Claude, and you're, you're on my team, so make sure we win. Woo! <laughs> I love Claude. You know what? No, but I'll be honest. I'm at that certain age now where I, I like my older generation anyway. Like Claude, it's my age group. You in your 40s, my love? 40s? 43. So you're my age group. This is what I like. I don't like these. Who's under 25? <laughs> no, you see them. Oh, yeah. You fucking Samuel, idiot, but you want kids. That's what you want, the fucking dickhead. This is our generation, man. Don't make me sick, man. Answer a dumb question. What do you want to be when you're old? I want to be a dad. What? Like you're just going to bust in a girl. That is it. That's your, that's your ambition for life. We had ambitions before, bro. Come on, you're African. You're meant to be on six degrees or something by now. What the fuck? I drive me mad. Drive me mad, man. This is, they don't understand. I've got three kids, you know, all teenagers, yeah? Get on my nerves. Get on my fucking nerves. They don't know how lucky they are. We were guinea pigs for you lot, you know? Guinea pigs, you see when you look around, see all this perfection. We made that shit. We did. I watch my kids doing something stupid and it'll get on my nerves. I watch them eating Pringles, you know the crisps? Just Pringles, you know? I want to take the whole tube and push it in their fucking mouth. I know it sounds mad because Pringles are perfect. Same shape, same size, no blemishes. You can eat them in the dark while you're watching a movie. No problem. You know we grow with Samuel? Golden Wonder. <laughs> you know what I like the passion he had when he told the DJ? <laughs> no, because it's, it's, cause when a man, cause he's going, yeah, if you, when a man does that, when, you know when a man does the same, it's the whole hand was pointing, by the way, what if you go, <laughs> press that thing one more fucking time. And you saw his leg and said, you! <laughs> one more fucking time. You know when a man, black people speak with their body, you know? They say, you! One more fucking time. Oh my God, then the yardie, bruv. When well, he did the flyers with the yardies. On the flyers. Because those flyers have always upset me, but I've never... <laughs> because it's my people and it upsets me because you think they, they've come over, they're here now. <laughs> Because, because this is, turn off the other mic, but this is when, because people don't understand, you've got Jamaicans and Yardies, they're two different things, like, like non-Jamaicans, you think we're all one and the same, we're not. Um, Jamaicans, we came first and, and we, <laughs> we speak English, we, what we do, no, <laughs> Yardies came, because no, because there's a new wave of young generation, I think that Yardies are us, they're not, we're not the same, like, when they dance on their head, we don't do that. We, we we're right, right here, right. You know, we're, you know when your mum does the dance. DJ, put on some, put on some. DJ, anything, anything. Go back. All right, see that, see that, see that. It's hip hop. So you would think that you'd, you'd be like, your mum would say, "I would do this." <laughs> Now watch her, watch her, give her a little bit. She has to look at the sky, she looks at the sky and she picks her lip, watch her. <laughs> and then your dad will come in, right? And no matter what, if it's hip hop, watch your dad, watch your dad. Turn it up, watch your dad, watch your dad. <laughs> what the hell, do you, all right, I'm gonna take you back. Do you remember Ray Sunsplash when he come on TV? See now, over, 20, over under 25, I don't know what I'm talking about. On a Friday night, you had no problem. Then you had reggae sunsplash. You had artists back in the day, not Shabba. <laughs> Eka Mouse. Okay. Me more, ma, me more, ma, me 
my man. Hey, me more marshy all her earthy tight. Hey, remember? You remember Muta Baruka? It's not right to stay in a white man country too long. <laughs> if you're white, you're all right. If you're brown, stick around. If you're black, get back or you're better at a... It's not right to stay. <laughs> Gregory Isaac, in his white suit, cool. Night nurse, only you alone can quench this your thirst. Watch him now. Lord. <laughs> you had all those artists back in the day. Those kind of TV programs. We don't have programs that really show us now. And those were, those were Jamaicans. Then Yardies came out. Blue Mountain Theatre would put on shows like Dance Hall Queen. And, and no, Oliver Sanders I like. But does no one know that he's. <laughs> Does no one know that? I'm not gonna say anything, but you know what I'm saying. Does no one know? In, in, you know, in special, you know? <laughs> no, because we had Jamaicans at the first day, yeah, bomb them, but, but he's, he's really, he's official, he's, he's really that. Really? Yeah. He is. And we act like we're so damn tough. Boy, if you see them, he's right there. He's, he's, <laughs> he's right next to you right now. <laughs> Let me, I'm gonna sort of carry on the game, but real quickly, just to show you how Jamaicans, I love Jamaicans, right? And I used to live here for a little while. I used to live in Red Hills Road, Kingston, so people would know. Um, they used, there was, remember, um, when Ross Kemp does gangs? He went to Jamaica, beautiful. This is when you see Jamaicans are about saving themselves first, right? So he's gone to the pits, and you know, Ross Kemp, he gets excited, that's white people, they'll go places where there's danger, fucking danger. They're fucking going in, fuck it, you can't, danger. Oh shit them, right? They love it, right? <laughs> so he's gone in there and he's talking to the camera. He's like, okay, we're gonna meet C. Benson right now. He's going to take us to the Yardies, the gangs, and we're gonna find out who the dons are. We're going to get those guys. And then Jamaicans, when they do speaky spoke, you know? <laughs> it sounds worse than English because they always put S's at the end. They always, so he said, um, you know, PC Benson, what, what are we gonna do? All right, what we're going to do is. <laughs> What we're going to do is, we're going to infiltrate the dorms, the dorms down in trench towns. We're going to infiltrate, infiltrate them, and we're going to find them, and we're going to get them. They don't blink, we're going to find them, we're going to get them, right? So then they go down the trench town, it's true shit, so I can believe it. So like, you know, like, like a lion of fire now, they're dead, and the man says, fuck up, everybody get down. Right, so Ross like, all right, all right. But Ross is Jamaican, Ross like, all right. <laughs> I got so into the acting, all right, all right. Right? So Ross is there, so Ross is like, okay, we are gonna go and infiltrate the Dons right now. It's exciting. All right, we're gonna go in there. Just a second. Okay, okay, we're gonna find out what's going on. Um, Benson, could you tell us what's going on, Benson? So, all right, the Dons are in the house, right? <laughs> Any minute now, we're gonna get the word, we're gonna go in and we're gonna get them. He said, okay, he's gonna go in, he's gonna get them. A break come, after the break, <laughs> it's still there. So, and, you know, Ross is honest. Okay, we promised you that we would go into <laughs> into the house. I, I don't know. <laughs> like people are asking him, I don't, I don't know why we're not in there yet. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him. Watch the police man. This is the honest. He said, sorry, sir. Why, why are we not going in? He said, all right. Um, we did find out that them know we're outside. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Self-preservation, black people. Them find out we're outside. And, and them have more guns than we. So we are come back later on. <laughs> Never heard some shit like that, like come back later, you know? <laughs> listen, ladies and gentlemen, listen, we got some. This game's really nasty. I just want to let you know this game's really nasty. What are we going to do right now? So can we, huh? No, I'm not going to do a demo. Oh, you're going to do a demo? Okay, could you? On me? Ross, okay, come. So basically, the contestants are going to have your role, yeah? As in, yeah, your position. Okay, so your position is what? Okay, all right. This is just, this is literally just for show. I'm not, this is not what I do. All right, so this goes, yes, sir. And you, the contestant, has to do this. No hands. No hands. Yeah, could you come down lower? Come down lower, come down lower. Come down, no, lower, lower. 
No, no, that's it. Let, just go up. Let me go up. All right, there you go. No, no. Wait, I don't even want to touch it. There you go. Take, take that, that. And then you got to turn around and you got to dash it in a bucket that should be there. The, nobody can count, right? Why is that bucket there? <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. You tip it. See, you don't know how our things work. We don't stand there, but we pull it. Do the flicker, right? Do the flicker. You don't remember the flicker? Flicker. And then when you're in the cinema, dash back in. And... Right? But that's what we've got to do anyway, right? So basically, that's the... The plunger. You don't want to... Okay. So that is basically what we've got to do. So can we have the contestants back down here? You're terrible, you know, stop it. Harry's terrible, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Harry's not easy, you know. <laughs> Harry not even let you go close to him. No, no, easy, all right. All right, easy. Harry will run up the stairs now, all right. That drawer don't know. <laughs> Do you get your pay yet? <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah, you got... Oh, right, yeah, so you got to punch. You got to punch him. <laughs> DJ, why are we doing that? What you Ready? want me to do? You miss it. Put Come this on. between my back, sorry? <laughs> DJ, look, look my finger. Like when a peep is. <laughs> Richard, you know you talking about back in the days. You remember girls used to squat fucking me and walk out the fucking supermarket, sir? I, I didn't see him do that. I didn't, I didn't see that one. I know some girls. I, <laughs> I mean, I probably knew the girls that used to live in hostels that did that. <laughs> Those are the men, ones are talking no, about. No, men, don't act like you never had a girlfriend that lived in a hostel. <laughs> and you go up the stairs and like, don't look at her like, why she is like, don't look, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that's just too honest, isn't it? Okay, hostel girls, big up. Um, <laughs> great times, great times. Put it between my legs now, Lee. You need to take them on a date. They were in the hostel, they were safe. <laughs> just a bedroom with a kettle. <laughs> Why are you here, 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 I don't make it to, uh, you're supposed to. Wait, you know the kettle? <laughs> Share it with everybody. <gasps> and she said, you want tea? Like, no, let's just take off our clothes. <laughs> I'm not staying long, I'm not staying long. Hi. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yo, make sure you get out of them, yeah? <laughs> how long was the minutes? How long, how long have they got? Two minutes, okay. Wait, oh god. Three, two, one, go! Come, baby. Put it in the hole. Put it in the hole. Oh god, oh. DJ, this is the time you can I'm over here, look, see here? Where you want it, sir? Come, bend down. You, you can do it. Come, come. Oh god. Come on, baby, put it in. Put the fucking thing in, man. Right. Go on, he run with the shite, Kane 
second place? Is it K second place? And and want to come dead last. Alright, DJ, that's 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 and the lights off and you're looking for it, you're fighting. <laughs> right? We can win this, yes? You don't know. You get me though. Comedians, you must direct your team member. Go long! Go long! No, not yet. Go long! Not, not yet, Dibby. Not, oh, oh. not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Hold, hold it, hold it. Hold All right. Right. When we say go, <laughs> you are going to direct your team member into the ring. <clears throat> And then you are going to direct them to ring. stay in I the ring. I have a ring on. The square ring, not the kind of ring that you're wearing. Yeah. <laughs> you like my ring, people? Girls, look at my ring. You like it? You want one of these? Very much. I can chat your rats. <laughs> See, I'm trying to advertise here by Primini. Come. Okay. Go on, boy. Go on. So you're going to direct oh. your, your contestants, because obviously they can't see, to bounce the other contestants outside of the square ring. They must not use their hands. Their hands must be kept to their sides at all times, unless they're falling, in which case they're allowed to break their fall. You must not touch your contestants. You are only allowed to shout orders. You have three minutes. The last man standing gets 10 points. Second person standing will get five points. The first person out gets nothing. If after three minutes, people are still in the ring, then we will split the points accordingly. Okay, everyone get it? I like the enthusiasm in your voice, I like that. You, you kept the energy right up. Look at them, look. <laughs> uh, all right, oh, 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 where are we going? Don't, don't, like, music or something. Are you going to play some music, DJ? Is he yeah, there? Do, do. So Forget go long! 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 just looking for feel-ups. I mean, you gotta tell her up front if you really wanna keep her. I mean, you gotta be strong so you can defend her. So in the end, you don't miss your shot. Like Bentner. See, I wanna tell her that I feel her, but it's a little bit scary. It's like I took things to the max, cause in the end it turned out that she aired me. I'm not looking for long term, no way. I'm looking for short term, tell a lie. I'm not looking for short term, no way, I'm looking for long term. That's why I told her she's a star the first time we conversed. But she got a little angry. So I sing a couple notes, there's no way she could be mad at me. She told her friend Samsung took me to a different galaxy. LG, life's good when I bring her to my home. Apple of my eye, she's the only one that I phone. She's my baby, I mean my BB. That's cause she's black and bold and dresses so sweetly and yeah, she's got curves too, but her smile's so nice and her heart's so warm, bro. She's a sweet girl but has an attitude like a storm though. Regardless of that, she's still my baby girl, so when I tell my boys I'm back, I tell them I found myself a pearl. Smartphone love. Thank you very much, people. That's my first piece. Um, a 
I've got just two short pieces. I'm going to do the what I wasn't taught in school, but I've got one more piece, which I think is important. Um, my second piece, thank you, thank you for the class. But anyway, so my second piece is called Fatherless Britain. Um, that's another one of my videos that's on YouTube. Um, and I just think it's a topic of about fatherlessness in Britain. So, um, yeah, let's take me in. Question. What's a bin without trash? Who's Jill without Jack? What's muscles without packs? Who's sneak ball without rap? What's weave? I mean, a train without a track. Body without a back. Bone, home, without a dad. Now, before I start, this isn't me slating homes with single mothers or fathers who have left. This is simply me bringing home some truths about some facts that remain undercover, no doubt. A household without a father figure would be considered incomplete. Stereotypically, sons grow up and resent that missing father figure to their about six feet deep, which causes a generation of hatred. Mothers get complacent. Women find it hard to find trust in a soulmate because they believe he'll be quick to slip into the next baby, Jason. It's quite basic. Let's face it. Dad's in the home at the back. Bone. So when dads ain't around, sons grow up to make their mothers proud instead of striving to be the dads that's never been around. But then I realize I'm in an awkward situation. We live in more than just a fatherless home. I live in a fatherless nation. The fatherless syndrome is swapping through generation to generation. We make plans to better the youth and like absent dads, they ain't funding it. So the same way we ask what's a child without a dad, we should ask what's a youth without a government. Respect for older males in higher power basically doesn't exist. We choose to do our own thing and when they ask why, we'll have our own list because to be fair, they're simply all... Well, you see where I'm getting at with this. Now, don't take what I'm saying literally. The government ain't exactly our parents, but the comparisons correlate. If it's not wrong for a child to resent a distant father, why is it a crime for the youth to resent in what's meant to be an apparent democracy? A distant partner, shit, wrecked, flipping heck, put together the missing steps. Fathers always wish the best, but they're not there for their kids, therefore it's disrespect to us. And that's the truth, on behalf of the youth. So don't blame or be ashamed of our actions or consider us insane. Because when it came to the important parts of our lives, you disappeared, David blamed and showed a lack of support. <coughs> investing so much time in the rich, you were coming to the end of their lives instead of investing time in us, you have lives to live and haven't yet reached our prime. You say we have potential, yet you're cutting down libraries, youth clubs, institutions to help us grow and aids to single mothers. How can we grow in a world where the dads don't help and the government don't love us? You're not a father if you can't disregard your own selfish needs for the ones you love. And the same goes for the system. They're above, but the link seems to be missing. Half the time, they disregard those half their size because they're only thinking of their own kind. So I believe as fathers of this nation, power's being misused, causing boys to become men early. And at the end of the road, the cycle continues. So I ask again, what's a bin without trash? Who's Jill without Jack? What's muscles without packs? Who's sneak ball without rap? What's weave? I mean, a train without a track. Body without a back. Bone home without a dad. My good friend Nigo Tree asked, Daddy, are you proud of me? I said, even if he was, the men of this generation that we're meant to look up to ain't even around to see, and it's a vicious cycle. Word. Thank you very much, Mr. <laughs> off stage or the floor um, so this is my last piece um, for those who may or may not know I've released a piece on Black History Month called what I wasn't taught in school um, thank you very much um, surprisingly to me it got a lot it got viral um, it went out there a lot of people liked it a lot of people responded to it I got a lot of good response from it um, so yeah this is what I wasn't taught in school I got a question how many of you guys have actually learned something new this Black History Month? My point exactly. Hold up. There's a bunch of other stuff they never told us. Year after year is the same old stuff we hear for Black History Month. For example, ping, when that light switched, 
They told us it was Thomas Edison who made that happen when ironically it was a darker man that made that light flick. Lewis Latimer to be precise. Quite nice when you're talking about Mr. Hamilton and his racing car, but red lights stop. We're taught that Martin Luther King had a dream, man. But those dreams can't be achieved because our brains are in chains, our minds are enslaved, so we won't get our redemption. Morgan, free, man. Will we ever be free, man? And leave this state of imprisonment and take that walk of free damn it green man from a traffic light invented by the same man who made gas masks to protect our organs. Another free man named Garrett Morgan, but I bet you never knew that. See, we need to open up our minds, but how can we be taught to see if the blind lead the blind? First person to develop significant eye surgery was a black woman named Dr. Patricia E. Bath. Now, on that note, there's a question I must ask. If black history is really meant to be an opportunity to engage and learn about our past, why are we not actually being taught about our past? Transatlantic slavery, where we're taught slavery starts, but is it really? Because there's a lot they haven't told us. And they shut down and hold back on the bold ones who stand against the way they're trying to mold us, consistent enemies of progress. School surprised because I know things they don't expect me to know yet. So when I stand and tell them they're wrong for telling me about me, they call it a riot while I call it a protest. The Broadwater farm riots. The media exacerbate and make it seem like it's a bunch of delinquent youths on the streets when really the first cause was death at the hands of police. We cease to know the truth. And that's because they withhold information from the youth. Maybe. Maybe one day we'll be satisfied with how our knowledge of history equates. And I'm sure, like me, you was forced to depend on those to teach and educate. So let's leave it for the teachers to do their job and fill in that space. No answer. Well, maybe I'll just help and throw out some names. Mary Seiko or Crimean Warners, Mary Prince, Mary Prince, a black female author published in England. To be precise, she was the first. Bernie Grant, local activist and respected MP. Trevor McDonald, one of the first black ITN journalists to hit the TV screen. Jamal Edwards and SBTV. And when Fuse ODG brought the Azonto dance to the UK, and my foot swayed to the left and the right like the wipers of a car's windscreen, and my hands moved in times with his rhymes and DJ Abrante brought Afro beats to the streets. <laughs> it's actually funny when we think of our childhood memories. But a man who was actually funny, Lenny Henry, many others, and the list continues. Marcus Garvey, Haile Selassie, Bob Marley, Ignatius Sancho, Tupac, Fela Kuti, Muhammad Ali, Maya Angelou, R.I.P. Kwame Nkrumah, the first Ghanaian president who retained independence from England. The wind rush ship which brought Caribbeans inland. So much to learn in just one month. A tip of the iceberg, a tiny grace. And what was the first black Roman emperor's name? We don't know. Now a message to the schools. Years passed and we're still stuck in this civil rights age, which isn't bad if we learn something new, but we don't. And we're not being taught enough about our culture, so there's no one else to blame but you. And if not you, then who? Questions, questions, questions. If you're not teaching me these things that I need to know, then I'm inclined to believe it's because you don't know. No. You're the teacher. Your job is to teach, so I'm sure you must know. And if you do know and you're not teaching me, then I'm inclined to believe it's because you don't want me to know. And if you don't want me to know, I believe that's low. Questions, questions, questions. Why focus so heavily on the influential men and women who made, ha made things happen for us, but there are a few? Why is it the fact that there's no one else to blame but you, but you still want to make it seem like it's not you? Why is it that my people are being predominantly highlighted for a negative past? Why is it that you are not oppressed with the great things that happen in this world? Why is it that I know these things that you don't and I'm not the teacher, you are? Why are you focused on our dark, heart, on our dark past but not presenting it with our bright future? Why are you not oppressed with the great things that's happening in this world? Why are young people's trademarks gang culture and young pregnant girls? Why are young people not given the time of day? And his name was Septimius Severus, by the way. So now I'm sure most of you guys have heard my piece. Who agrees? <laughs> Unfortunately, I believe as students, our code of conduct has been breached. So let's just do what they expect us to do and stop here and let them do their job. So teach. Thank you very much, people.